yep. as you guys can see the texture are loaded all of the texture are loaded yep What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel Fubukipyo and in this video I will be showing you guys how to install the Windows 10 mod for gaming. Windows 10 mod is really good for gaming especially for Fortnite because it can boost so much FPS and fix the slow texture bug and yep before this video started please hit on the subscribe button on my channel please help my little channel grow so yep thank you guys okay for the first step what you need to do just open up your browser go to this link i will give this link on the description box below so you guys can check on it scroll down and you can find the download links here just press on the mediafire one because it can be faster if you're using from mediafire so yep just download it from the mediafire right click open link in the new tab just wait for it you need to wait at least 15 six seconds so just wait for it when the media fire opens up just press on download it will be downloading automatically i'm in indonesia and maybe the server of media fire is far from here so my speed is kind of slow for media fire but for you guys in the america or or uk it may be faster than my speed so yep just download it until it's 100% complete and the file will be looking like this win 10 pro the size is only 2.2.5 just just let's say it's 2.5 for the original windows 10 the size is 5 gigs 5.2 gigs it's really different in the size the windows 10 pro mod is really good for gaming because you can see from the size it's really different so what is in the super light version of this windows mod super light is just for gaming or streaming so what is the difference between windows 10 mod and the original one so basically in the windows 10 mod all of the bloatware is deleted cause Spectre is really genius he can delete all the bloatware so it can uh, load the core program of the windows so you don't need any of the bloatware program to run the windows it will be a lot lighter and you can free up more rams and cpu usage so yeah you need to download it and install it is really good and there are two types of the modded version one is super light and one is compact i'm using the super light because i use my laptop for gaming and recording so i don't need any other bloatware programs so yeah i'm using the super light for the compact version it's for an office use i don't recommend you guys to use the compact version because super light is better for the gaming okay moving on to how to install the windows 10 mod first thing you need to have is flash disk yep flash disk with usb 3.0 supported and the minimum capacity is 8 gigabytes so you can install the windows 10 mod using it and yesterday i bought a sandisk ultra usb 3.0 60 16 gigabyte it's really cheap and it's really good for this kind of thing like installing windows and stuff it's really good it's really fast too so just plug in your flash disk into your usb 3.0 port the 3.0 usb port is usually on the first slot so make sure you look out for the first slot of on your laptop and plug it in and after you plug it in just open up your PC and you can download the Rufus program I will put the link for Rufus in the description box below it's only one megabyte it's really small but it's really helpful program just open your Rufus and when this page shows up just press on select and look out for your windows 10 mod iso so here is my windows 10 mod iso just press on the file and click open you don't need to change anything just press on start and wait until it's complete but disclaimer it will erase all of your data so make sure you back up your flash disk data before using these methods so just back up on your google drive or anything just back up so you won't lose your data and if you press start the status 
bar will be moving and wait until it's complete and when you're complete just press on close you can close anything go to this press on the safety remove hardware and eject media press and eject your flash disk yep my flash disk is already ejected from my computer and we're gonna moving on to installing the windows you already got your flash disk ready with windows 10 iso inside so before you're reinstalling your windows you need to back up all of your data just back up because it will erase anything on your computer so make sure to back up your data before reinstalling your windows it's really important so after that you need to shut down your computer just shut down and wait until your computer turn off all right so i'm gonna continue using my camera stay tuned so let's say you already have your flash disk plug it in your flash disk has windows 10 mode inside of it plug it in on your first port of your laptop here is my first port of my laptop and here is the second so i plug it on the first port of my laptop because usually the first port has usb 3.0 so plug it in on the first port alright and then you can go to the bias mode of your laptop or pc different laptop different ways to enter the bias mode for myself i have sony Vio laptop and this is the way i enter my bias so basically i need to press on the a6 button my laptop will turn on and i can go to the start bias setup and here in the bias you need to dis disable the secure boot just disable it but if you don't have this option just skip this part because that means your laptop does not have secure boot option so after that you can go to the boot priority for the for the most laptop it will show your flash disk and your hard drive just move your flash disk to the first position and for myself i can just press on external device so for my laptop it's kind of easy and after that you can go to the exit and save change but for my laptop i have different ways to enter the installation of windows so basically i just need to press on this start from media usb device or optical device if you have this option it will really help saving up your times just press on enter it will load your flash disk so when your flash disk is booted up it will be looking like this just press on the windows logo yep setup is starting just wait for it and it will be looking like this just choose english for the language press next and choose the super light version press next again press on accept and next again and here you can see all of your drive and partition you need to install on drive zero or drive one if you have to hard drive you need to install it on drive zero drive zero partition one just install it on there but before that you need to format it just press on format and after that you can install it on your drive zero so after that you just press next and wait until it's finished but for my case i have already installed the super light version of windows 10 mode so i don't need to do it again so yeah just press on the next and wait until it's complete and after all the installation is complete you need to wait for several minutes for the windows to create your profile and adjusting settings so just wait for it until it's done and it will be looking like this there is just like normal windows 10 but with no bloatware so after that just open up the ghost toolbox open it and when this message shows up just press on no just wait for it you can find a lot of feature in this ghost toolbox it's really useful for gaming so make sure to install the iob driver booster for updating your driver or you can watch my videos about installing the driver i will put the link on the description box below installing driver is really important so you guys need to do it just watch on my video i will put the link on the description box below after you're done with installing the driver follow this step you can see other here you can see all of the feature for gaming just type in 39 is tweaking for gaming just press enter and then you can disable 
disable all the useless features so you can run your game faster so here you can see the HP 80 disable just press one enter HP ST disabled but you need to restart your PC to text effect and then just disable all of the useless features so you can run up your game more smoothly and you need to install both of this number 16 and 17 just type in 16 and install it visual c plus plus just just install this and then after that you can go back to this page again and install the direct x number 17 just install that because it's really important for your game to run smoothly and run properly so just install that okay so yep that's basically it you're done and you can finally play your game using your windows 10 mod and i will show you guys the result of it by playing fortnite and you can see how smooth and there is no slow texture bug on my gameplay so i will show you guys after this okay so i'm using my tv because my laptop screen is not big enough i cannot show you guys if i'm using only my laptop screen and there you can see my nickname Asagi Pio and you can see the 3D resolution is on 100% usually I use uh, 65 before entering the game because it will be lagging if I put it on 100% but now with this Windows 10 mod I can put it on 100% and enter the game without any issue as you guys can see I put the image only on my TV because so I can focus more on my TV not my laptop screen so there are no other console or PC I'm only using my laptop my old laptop so yeah I'm not using any other machine only my laptop so I will show you guys how well it works with Fortnite Windows 10 mod is really crazy <laughs> I will show you guys how the gameplay was okay so i'm we are in the game now usually i will spawn at the bus but now i can enter the lobby so that means the loading is pretty fast if you're having a lo old laptop you will spawn right at the bus not this lobby so yep the loading screen is really fast it only takes 50 seconds i timed it yesterday and it only takes around 50 to 55 seconds it's really fast so alright we'll see how well it works and usually when you first dive in the texture won't loading if you're having a slow texture issue the texture won't loading let's see will the texture load it yep as you guys can see the texture are loaded all of the texture are loaded yep I don't have any issue I'm running away because there are too many too many people <laughs> so I'm running away yep all of the texture are loaded thirty fps stable 30 fps no drop no anything but it will be smoother if you're not playing on tv because tv got bigger resolution than your laptop So here I feel, I feel like there's an enemy and I see one enemy so I try to shoot him 
but yep as you guys can see he made a castle because I shoot him once and he made a castle <laughs> so I'm running away because there are too many people I don't know from which side and some people are shooting rocket from the far way <laughs> shit <laughs> they are shooting rockets not once but like three or four times they're shooting so someone someone made made a bridge too so i was trying to looking for someone who made the bridge and let's see Yep. In in here, I'm trying to press the number two button, but it did it did not works. I don't know why. I cannot switch my weapon, so you just casually shooting me. <laughs> I was trying to switch my weapon because my SMG ran out of ammo, so I'm trying to change my weapon, but it did not work. So that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope this video can help you fixing your fortnite bug or FPS drop so yep that's it thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel so I can grow this little channel okay see you guys in the next video bye bye